I have four children. I've lost two of them to drugs. Illegal activity coming from Mexico. It's personal for a valley farmer. He says the troops on their way to the border may help again. Channel 5's Angela Vargas learns what happens when the National Guard comes to the border. Angela. Some of our farmers have land on the Rio Grande. The one we talked to says if the soldiers can deter some of the criminal acts, it will help keep the border and his community safe. This land represents decades of cultivation and generations. Before the lines were drawn, before the borders were designated, we were here before all of that. Farmer and Army veteran Roberto Escobar's family started farming the hundreds of acres of land in 1776. Their hay grows from the water in the Rio Grande. He knows illegal activity happens near his hard work and home. But if we can stop 50% of the illegal drugs coming across here, they come. I've seen them at night. I hear them. I, I don't actually see them, but I hear them zooming back and forth. Escobar says one way to stop the crossings is having the military here. He was here when the first set of soldiers came to the border. He signed their permission slip to be on his land. They came in, they camped, they had a tent, they had their Humvees. And it was a group of about four that would come and stay there. And it seemed like they were there day and night. Escobar tells us this is where the National Guard was set up years ago, yards away from the river with the great vantage point. And you can see an army coming from miles away. And if you're sitting here with your good binoculars and night vision goggles and whatever, you can see everything, man. Escobar says if they do come, he has one request for the government. Let them be the eyes, the hands, the boots to be out there, but don't give them weapons. Maybe one out of every squad or every four guys or every ten guys, maybe one needs a, 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 a sidearm to defend themselves in case of an emergency. Escobar explains the military only assists Border Patrol. The troops cause criminals to take another route. At this point, we don't know where the National Guard will be set up or when. We'll keep you posted.